So it's another watch review day. Oh yes, we haven't done a smartwatch in a little bit. So, what is this asking for? Later. So first, a little bit of coffee, because it's morning and I, I need to get my energy up a little bit. So I don't know how many of you are coffee drinkers, but it's a, an important part of my morning. Oh yes, oh yes. All right, so today we are looking at a watch from a company called Tinwoo. And just to start off, this watch right now, at time of filming, is actually a really good price. Now I say that without actually looking at the watch because I haven't opened it. But regularly, but regularly, regularly, you're looking at about $69 US. But if you look at their website right now, they actually have this watch on for 35. So you're getting 50% off, which is great. We have a promo code as well, which should give you 10% off of their website, I believe. And I don't know how long that's going for, but just in case, I will put it down below in the description if after you watch this video, you're like, yeah, I'll take some extra 10% off. Why not? A little bit of extra cash in your pocket? That's good. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Tinwu. Okay, so first off, here's the first thing to just kind of be aware of. We have the Tinwu Eclipse here, right down here, right now. It is the circular, that's my circular version of their watch. Now they make two different styles as of now, and it's the, again, Tinwu Eclipse, which is, as you can see here, the circular one, and the Tinwu Quartz, which is the square one. So depending on what you like, you have a whole bunch of different options here. So options from square face, different bands, circular face, different bands, which is which is all kinds of cool. But I've got a ton of square watches, so I like I like the circular ones. So I figured, hey, let's give that a go. So as we go through their website here, you will see there's a couple actually really nice features. It does have a whole bunch of indoor sport modes as well as a couple outdoor sport modes. It has a sleep monitor. IP68 rated, which is awesome. All day heart rate monitoring, which is cool as well. Uh, magnetic chargers. And here's the big one, especially if you're comparing this up against a lot of the flagship smartwatches out there, is that if you're looking for a watch that you don't have to charge every day or two, this can be really beneficial. You're looking at seven days of actual usage. And again, that's gonna be dependent on all the features that you turn on uh, and two hours to charge. So that's actually really good. It also says up to 14 days of standby time. It does have a weather feature for 15 days of weather and has some notifications. So don't look at this and I will compare it a little bit right now, just now to like an Apple watch. You know, an Apple watch is really a super companion to the iPhone. It has the ability to get all your notifications, add applications to it, and it has the ability to reply. But you are looking at big money. You are looking at probably close right now with this on sale, 10 times the amount. Do you want to spend four or five, six, seven hundred dollars on an Apple Watch? Or do you want to spend right now like 40? Because if you're just looking for something that is like, yep, I get it. Person X just contacted me. Well, then you're going to get that notification. Are you looking at something that's going to track your heart rate and some activity? Then why spend the big money? And this one, which I really do like, and I actually like this in comparison to, let's say, an Apple Watch, is the fact that it gets seven days of actual usage. You're not going to get that from an Apple Watch. I have to charge my Apple Watch every night. Every night. And is that a big deal? Well, it can be for a lot of people, especially if you're gonna go away, that means you have to carry a whole bunch of extra chargers with you. If I'm going away for a weekend trip, I gotta bring the chargers. With this, I wouldn't have to. That's, that's a big plus. And sleep tracking. You can't really use an Apple Watch really for sleep tracking because for most of us, that's when we're actually doing the charging. Definitely cool features. So let's take a look at what's in the box. This is it, the Tin Moo right here. Bunch of stuff. This is, it says scan me on it. So let's let's actually do the scan me right now, just so we can see. So I got my phone here, scan me, okay, scan me. Oh, so it just takes us to their website. So just so you guys know, this is gonna take you here, which allows you to get some other information, etc. if you needed it, I guess, which is all right. Okay, let's crack it open. So what do we get in this box? This is it here. It is protected nicely 
for sure. It comes in a nice box, as you guys can see. Had a little power on arrow to tell you what that button does. Stopwatch there, sport mode down there. Very cool. Now, the other thing that I'm curious, because it's hard to tell, a lot of these circular watches that you get, ones that are circular in shape, they're actually a square screen, so you get a lot of wasted space around the circle that's not actually displayed. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see if this is the same on this one. So take the foam out, again, good good protection. Oh, that's nice. That's actually, that's actually really nice. It's hard, I guess, for you guys to see, but that's, like, it's a nice metal. It's a nice metal watch. That's a very impressive, actually. For 35 bucks right now, 39 bucks, whatever it is, that's a whole bunch of all right. And nice strap. I've actually taken my Apple Watch off so I can try this one today. But we'll come back to it, we'll come back to it. We'll just put that there. Actually, I really like that. You do get, this is the charger, so it is charger with magnetic, so you're gonna pop that on the back. As well as, we get a little cleaning cloth. That's nice, give your watch a little, little clean. You get a manual, so it tells you how to connect it. Personal details, personal details too. Shortcut page, has all your little instructions on it. But we're gonna, Try not to spend too much time. What we're gonna do is do a basic overview of it, take a quick look, just enough to really get an idea if we think this is worth it. By the build construction, I already think that's worth it. That's that's a really nice watch. I like that. Especially, man, it, even at $70, I think that's really nice. This is gonna be your quick start. Now, I probably will just keep this handy because quick starts are great if they function well and it actually works, but they don't always connect as well easily as you and I might think. But, on the positive side, really nice size fonts, color, and it looks like it's well explained as to actually how to do the connection. So I think that's gonna be super useful. I'm gonna keep that, that handy, so that's gonna come here. This, nice, but it's gonna go in the box right now because we're not gonna get too deep into that. Normally, I would say that we wanna charge the watch up Firstly, just to make sure it's got a full charge before we do anything, but I'm not gonna do that today. Nope. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna bring this up closer for you guys so you can see it. So that's it right there. Look at that. That's a nice looking watch, without question. I think that's super nice. Now, if we peel this off, we see the actual watch face. By looking at it here, I would say the whole circular screen is actually the face, because usually, especially when you move this around with lighting, if it isn't, you can actually see where the square screen is. So it doesn't seem to have that. All right, let's bring this out and take a look. So first off, let's just undo it here so you guys can get a better look. Standard sport band, you know, it's made of that sport band material, whatever that is, I don't even know. But quality feels good. I do like even the clasp here. You guys hopefully can see that. It has their branding on it, which is nice, Tinmu. Cool. On the back, this is where your magnetic charger is to connect to it, and there's your heart rate sensor. So make sure, make sure that's nice and clean before it ends up getting all sweaty. Oh, that's so well built. I think that's really nice. I'm very impressed, actually. I didn't know what to expect. Should we put it on? Well, we'll start it like this first, just to see. Bring out our little manual. So it says powering on. Press and hold the top button for three seconds. So this one right here. Okay, ready, guys? One, two, three. And it vibrates. There you go. And, oh, circular screen. Oh, that's lovely. Look how fast that started. Wow. That is really nice. Nice bright screen. I, I Again, super impressed. Okay, so it says here, hopefully we're gonna put this all here beside each other. We're gonna lay this down here. Did I tell you how much I thought that was great? Hopefully you guys can see this. It's kind of white on black, but that's, oh, that's nice. Super impressed. Okay, download the Tinwu app and do a search for Tinwu. Tinwu. Good. Now we just wait for a few seconds for it to download. And what it says here, pairing for the first time. Always use the app to pair the watch with your phone. Do not attempt to use your phone's Bluetooth. So this is, this is also a big thing that I've realized. Most devices you and I get, we end up going into the Bluetooth setting and searching for it and pair it through there. But a lot of these watches, we wanna make sure that we actually don't do that. We, we go into the app itself and the app itself does the pairing. So as long as your Bluetooth is on, just make sure it's on. Okay, so again, we have this. 
We're gonna just hit that so it turns the screen on, just make sure. Open, can we? Oh, and here's a huge bonus. I didn't know if it would for sure. It works with the health kit inside iPhones. So that's awesome. So we're gonna actually say yes to this. Yes to all this. Yes, turn all categories on. I'm gonna wear this watch today. Allow, please turn on your smartwatch first and then click on this icon to pair. I'm, I'm in it. And there it is, boom. Bluetooth pairing, yes. Syncing data. Okay, that was super simple. Allow this to display your notifications, yes. And that's it, really, that's all. Super simple. First off, let's just get this out of the way. Build construction so far of this watch. Love it, screen, love it. Look at that, even that face has that really nice analog feel. It's grabbing the weather, 17 degrees already. It's got my date, it's got my steps, and it's got something else over there. What is that? Oh, battery. Okay, so let's look at around here first. Just take a look in the app and here, just to see. So we're on the home screen here, which again is gonna have all your physical activities. If you click on the physical watch, there it is, find device. Let's check if there's any firmware upgrades. You have latest firmware, so that's that's all right. Unpair, take pictures. So the take pictures, don't think that your watch has a camera. It doesn't, it's a remote trigger for your phone's camera. So you can get your phone somewhere else and take this. Hey, great feature, why, why would you not include that? Okay, so that's everything there. Down here, we can see this is our basic stuff. Uh, a GPS. Keep using, change it, yep. Keep only while using, change to always allow. We'll just keep this standard. But there it is, it actually shows us on a map where we are, has all that information. You can go full screen. That's actually really nice too. Very cool. This is, this is getting to be super, super nice. And last but not least, we have settings. So settings, we have a personal. Now this is where you and I can go in here and fill in all our information. And I'm gonna do that, not necessarily right now, but I will, I'll come in here and fill in all my age and weight and gender and all that kind of stuff because it needs that information for all your activity to see how much calories you're burning and things like that. So that's, that's super cool, I am gonna do that. Take pictures, also there. Device, same thing. This is gonna be cool because it talks about all your units of measurement. You can change that if you want. You even have little things like resting heart rate monitor, you have your raised wrist to wake screen. So if you tapped on that, you could turn it on or off, when it's gonna stop, because I like that reminding. I believe this allows you to actually set a time when that stops. Because, for instance, let's say you're wearing this at night and you are a really active hand user, so you sleep and flail. Well, guess what you don't probably want? Raise the weight turning on, so every time you lift your hands, your, your watch decides to light up. That's cool, I like that. Resting heart rate monitor, you can turn that on. Yes, I have it on, it's on from six in the morning all the way up to, it looks like about 10 o'clock at night, but all changeable, super cool. Notification filter, if you wanna go in there, you can turn these on, I don't. Send them all, have at her. And a find device, which is also really cool. The other thing you have here is time displays. It's 24 hours, you can go 24 hours, you can go 12. I'm actually gonna set it to 12 because I like the AM, PM. I don't necessarily want 1600 hours versus four o'clock little things like that. So that's all under the device, very cool. Um, when you come into sports, this is where you're gonna see other things. And it wants you to input them. So you have to get a kind of a good idea. I think these are the basics. So stride length versus running length. It's kind of getting an idea of the distance that your strides are when you're walking versus running. Your step goal, calorie goal, distance goal, heart rate alert. So this could be important because if you I'll turn that on actually. Highest heart rate, if you don't want it to break over. So this is a little different than say the heart rate in like an Apple Watch, because that one's based around resting heart rate. So if your heart rate elevates beyond a certain heart rate, when you're resting, it goes off. So I'm sitting watching TV and my heart rate hits 120. I actually have my Apple Watch set to tell me because it shouldn't be doing that. This one is a little different. This is highest heart rate when you're exercising. So I'm gonna have this one, it's set at 160. That's a good number. Maybe I don't want my heart rate to go above that. Or maybe you get some kind of doctor's notice that says we want you to exercise, but please don't stress your heart rate. So we never want it to go over X at certain times. So even when you're exercising, so you could come in here and set that. So that's, that's kind of cool. 
low heart rate so we also have this so this allows you to set a low one right now it's set at 95 and again this is that exercise so again this is not a resting this is based on exercise so if you really want to make sure you're pushing yourself so you go out and you're like i'm gonna go for a walk and get some exercise in but your heart rate never ever breaks 95 it'll keep warning you be like you need to push harder so that's kind of cool too just to see that you want to move a little quicker. I'm gonna turn that one on too. When you're in exercise, 95? Yeah, that's a good number. We'll stick there. And set a sedentary reminder. And this, of course, we see a lot of watches doing this as well. This is the, you, you should like stand up, get up. You've been sitting way too long. So do you want that? Yep, turn it on, vibration, wave, whatever, from eight till seven. Uh, yeah, that's a good time. That's, that's, that's reasonable. Normally I'd maybe set that a little later, but that's okay, I like that. And, and back we go. Coming down a little further, next we have the alarms. So we can add alarms here, schedule alarms. I'm not gonna do any, but you could. Applications, iOS health. <laughs> that's my favorite. I didn't know it would have this. So having this included, super cool. I love that a lot. Okay, let's put it on, let's put it on. So, oh, it's a good size too. It's a, it's a nice watch face and in that I like a watch to be fairly good size. I want it to be not massive. Oh, look, look at that. Clean that up a little bit, right? Just give that a clean. Oh, that's nice looking because it doesn't even look, this is what I, this is what I really like. It doesn't look like a smartwatch. It just looks like, almost like a, an analog watch. Nice watch face on there. You know, we can go through it. It does say, so this is your kind of power off, power on. This one here on the side. This one's going to, if we click on it, goes right into your stopwatch. So you can get that going. So you can tap on the screen, you'll see the start and stop, right? So the screen, it's touch. So you have that ability and you can stop that. Little back arrow at the top, kind of come back out of that, super nice. Bottom one down here, click on it, will allow you to kind of see some of the actual features. So you're gonna go for a walk, you're gonna go for a run, kind of come down, you're gonna go for a hike, you're gonna go for a bike. Uh, badminton, basketball, soccer. So very cool, you kind of go into these. Actually, let's just go in real quick here. So let's say I was going to go for a walk. Oh, and it just starts, so everything just comes up and it's got all the information on the screen. I like that, look how much info is actually on the screen. That's actually a fair bit of information. So heart rate, kilometers, calories burned. Yeah, that's cool. And once you're finished with this, my guess is you just hit that back arrow and it actually, heart rate, 84 right now, yeah. It's too short, of course. You wanna make sure it's long enough, but I'm like, yeah, okay. Now, let's see if there's any slide gestures. So if you actually, again, in here and you slide from the top down, oh, this is where like notifications would be. So you'll have some notifications in here, which is good. I don't have any right now. If you slide from the bottom up, you have access to your battery. So you can see, you can go there and this is echo mode or eco mode, sorry. And it allows it to dim your screen. So you see your screen go dim. So I'll kind of just bring that back up, turn that off, eco disable. You have your ability for your sound to be on and off. This is gonna be finding iPhone. That's cool. And this one, play music. So if you have some music that you wanna be able to play, so it should be able to hook into this super nice and back out again now from left to right goes into your health activity so you can actually look here you got your steps your kilometers and your calories again really nice and lastly go this way oh and then here you're gonna have your activity again what is this one prepare oh this one actually is a breathing so has the same icon actually as the apple watch so it allows you to do it's like mindful minutes, meditation, being able to get an application that says, hey, let's take a breath, calm down, and it helps you with your breath. That's, that's nice, I like that. This one down here is your stopwatch, so you're gonna tap on that to take you into that stopwatch again. Very similar to if we were to click on this one here. And last but not least, we have our settings on the watch. And the setting on the watch, it actually tells us all kinds of information. So like your brightness, my brightness right now is actually low. I can actually bring that up if I wanted to. About restore power. That's, that's really nice. I'm a huge fan. I think for anybody that wants, I don't even want to say a basic watch. I want to say a nice looking watch. That's a nice looking watch that has notification ability, heart rate ability, 
and activity as well as your standard watch. Weather, where's weather? Where was, oh, weather's just up at the top. So if I tap on the weather, it actually goes in. You can see all the weather information there. And it says I can scroll down here and there's the multiple days. Oh, so good. All right, my friends, so I'm coming to you from three days later, just kind of interrupting this video because I've been wearing this for the last three days and I wanted to just show you a couple features that I missed while talking about it. So number one, three days in and I'm still at like 75, 80% battery is what it kind of shows right here. You'll also notice that I've changed my watch face and this is, this can be an important one because I was unaware of where to do that. Just so you guys know, if you come in here and slide to your settings, this area here, there's some extra things in here. Changing your watch face, the very first one here, if you tap on it, you'll have a little back or X and a check. So all you need to do now, there's my move notification, is you can slide up or down through these to go through the different watch faces. So you got about 15, I think, different watch faces that you can choose from, depending on what you like or what you want. Whole bunch in here. Figure out which one you want. Once you get it, all you do is hit the little check mark and it takes you here, hit back and you're good to go. The other one that I think is really neat in here as well, or important, is this bottom one. And at first it actually was this. And I was like, what does OS mean? But it's not, it's zero seconds. So this is how long the watch face will stay awake. So if you want it to light up when you like lift and you want it to stay longer, you'll see that five seconds. If you go one step further, the plus, and you go to always on, which is the next one, you'll see the screen dims. And the screen dims because if it's always on, it's gonna get not great battery life. So I like mine set to the five seconds. I also like it at full brightness. Indoors, the full brightness, not a big deal. I'll just slide back. The full brightness, not a big deal indoors, but outdoors, I did find that if you didn't have it at full, if it was really bright out, uh, it was a little hard to see, but at full brightness, it was good. Again, I'm at three days. I'm at five seconds for wake time, so how long it stays on. I haven't taken it off yet, and I'm between 75 and 80% battery. So it's, it's doing pretty good. Now, if you are someone that exercises a lot and does a lot of activity and you go into exercise modes, that may hit the battery a little harder. So just be aware that anytime your device has to go into a mode that uses more power, then your battery is going to deplete. That just makes sense. But you should still be able to get a couple days, I would think, even if you are someone that is very active and turns on those activity modes. Back to the end, back to the end of the video. Back to, yeah, whatever, you get it. I'm gonna leave a link down below to their website if you are interested at all, because I think, honestly, it's, it's, that's a really, really good deal. IP68 rated, so you should be able to take this out, get it wet. It does say that in their picture, can be worn while bathing and swimming, so have at her, that's fantastic. And for those of us that are using it with an iPhone, it is HealthKit compatible. So for me, that's a really big feature. I want it to synchronize with the rest of my Apple ecosystem. And that means that the watch and the watch app has to be HealthKit compatible. And this is. All right, guys, uh, this may be one of my, my new favorites, non-Apple watches. This, you know, in its price category, I think that's really nice. Super well built, buttons are solid. You can get it, as we saw on their website, with different styles, different bands. So if you want the square version versus the circular one and different band styles. Win, complete win. Super impressed. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Link down below if you're interested. Again, right now, on sale, time of posting, $35, $39, something like that. Plus, I do have a coupon code for a small discount, which can also help. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, get yourself a cool watch, right? That's super nice. So impressed. 40 bucks. Pfft. Later, guys.